Mind mapping is simply a diagram used to visually represent or outline information. It is a powerful graphic technique you can use to translate what's in your mind into a visual picture. Mind mapping increases your creativity and productivity because it's an excellent tool to let you generate more ideas, identify relationships amongst the different data and information, and also effectively improve your memory and retention. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about three most promising mind mapping tools and apps that you might not have heard of. I will also leave all the links for these in the description section for you as well as the timestamps for them. So let's get straight into today's video. The first one is MindMaster, a fully featured collaborative mind mapping tool. MindMaster is a powerful mind mapping tool and is available across all major platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and also on web. It also supports various different languages like English, French, German, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese. MindMaster has different built-in categories of templates to create. You can easily create a radial map, a tree map, an organization chart, fishbone chart, timelines, circular maps, and so on. At the bottom, we have a long list of readily editable mind maps, which are professionally designed for all business needs. Creating mind maps using MindMaster is extremely easy. Go to the new option and double click on any of the built-in templates. Keep pressing the enter key to add main topics and press control plus enter to add subtopics. There are a powerful set of tools to format our mind maps. You can draw relationships between any two topics and add your text onto it. You can also add callouts with custom text. You can select multiple topics to create boundaries and summaries using the mark tool. You can add markers into your topics. Clip art can be used to add high quality icons into your mind maps. Using hyperlinks, you can create links between each topic and using the attachment option, you can add any files. You can also add notes and comments into your mind map topics. Using the tag option, you can create custom groups and text and then tag them to your mind map topics. So once your mind map is ready, you can further edit it using format options. Under themes, you will find 33 professionally designed themes, which can be easily applied using a single click. Under layouts, you will find 22 different built-in layouts, and these can be used to modify your mind maps into different styles. The connector lines tab has a different built-in styles to modify the connector lines of your mind maps. Under the background section, you'll find options to change background colors, fill in with patterns, and to add watermarks onto your mind maps. Under the theme section, there are many built-in color schemes which you can use to readily change the colors of your mind maps. Using options under the effects section, you can modify the connector lines into sketch style. And once you complete formatting your mind maps, you can even save it as a new theme for your future use. On the right side, you will see similar formatting options. Give a custom name to this theme and then click on save. Under the mark tab, you will find many built-in markers which can be readily added into your mind map topics. And under the clip art tab, there are different categories of PNG icons. Select any section in the list and then just drag and drop these icons onto your mind maps. You can also preview mind maps in an outline format. Just go to the outline tab to find the list of all topics. You can edit any of the topics from this section and then export your mind map in PDF, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint format. 
MindMaster also has options to create slideshows from your mind maps. Go to the slideshow menu and then click on the slide preview. Under the left pane, you can auto create the slides, edit the titles if required, and then preview the slideshow. This slideshow will be based on each topic of your mind map. You can make use of the Traverse Branches option to preview the slideshow directly from your mind maps. The slideshow will be like a zoom effect animation. Preparing Gantt charts from mind maps is quite easy. In MindMaster, go to the Advanced tab and then click on Gantt chart. Select all the topics of mind maps and then click on Add Task Information. You can see all our mind map topics and now listed into Gantt charts. So you can modify the duration of the subtopics as well as the total duration of the main topic will also change accordingly. Using Gantt chart options, you can format a few things like the date, chart, units, whether to include weekends onto your chart and define the time frames. Once your Gantt chart is ready, you can easily export it into PDF format. MindMaster is very handy while conducting brainstorming sessions. Insert any blank template and go under the advanced tab to find the brainstorming option on the left side pane. You can keep adding ideas as they are generated. Once you are done, you can drag these ideas on the main topic, rearrange them as needed, and then finally create a mind map out of it. You can easily export your mind maps into different file formats. Go to the file menu and then click on export. Now here you will find options to export my maps as PDF and other office formats. Let's quickly export a mind map into PowerPoint format. Once done, you can ungroup this mind map and still each of these fields will remain editable. MindMaster is also available in a web version and it can be accessed through mindmaster.io. Click on try free and you will see the same set of templates. Remember, you must log in into your account for online collaboration with your teams. Click on any existing templates and let's quickly create a mind map to involve multiple users into your project. Just go to the collaboration option, change the permission level of new users and then click on create a link. So you can copy this link and share it among your team using this link. They can log in using their account and directly join you into the mind map project. So now we can see there are two members currently working on this project. When any of the members make changes into mind map topics, it dynamically reflects to the other users. Here's a preview of some of the built-in templates which are professionally designed for all your business as well as education needs. You can download MindMaster for free with the link provided in the description. Before we get to rest of the video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel to support us and help us making more videos on innovative tech as well as productivity. Next one is Miro. Miro is a popular mind mapping tool that works great with distributed teams. Brought to you by experts in visual collaboration, Miro mind map is simple yet a smart solution for teams to brainstorm, plan projects, develop strategies, and do more tasks together. You focus on the mind part and Miro will do the mapping. You will only need a few shortcuts to get started. To give your thoughts on structure, start adding ideas by hitting tab or return. To rearrange your map, hold control and command and drag any elements around. You don't need to be a designer to end up with a mind map. That looks neat. Magically auto arrange the map, change its size, choose the theme and colors or add links to anything. And when you are ready to share, Invite your team to collaborate, embed boards to external websites, cut the board with frames to present them as the slides, and export the maps in high resolution. So this is just one of the awesome things you can do it in Miro. So go try it with your team today. Miro is free to start with a limit of three boards, 
and has some great pricing plans. I will leave the link in the description section for you to start with Miro. Simple Mind is a great tool that you can start free. This is one of the most popular tools and I will leave the link in the description section for you. It's easy to start with and you can start analyzing your thoughts and structure with Simple Mind. The unique free layout allows you to organize your ideas exactly how you want it. Let's go over the main features of Simple Mind. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a mind map with Simple Mind. I'll make this mind map about my next holiday. Let me write down some basic questions. Where to go to? How I am going to get there? What to do? What must be done before we leave? And of course, what to pack? This is a good place to start from, and now I can fill in the details. I'll be going to Paris. By filling in more and more details, I'm building my mind map. I'll ask my mom to look after my cat, so I'll add that here. And looking at the mind map, I feel medication should be here also. I'd also like to add a structure to the itinerary. much better now. That's how it is easy to make a mind map with simple mind. Let's see how to enhance your mind map. I'll choose a different style sheet to better fit my holiday. Let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. I want to make it very clear that what this mind map is about. I'm going to take this image from the internet. I'm also going to add some icons to make my question stand out. And I'll add a small icon here for medication. I've received all the hotel information in my email, so I'll add it as a note for easy access. I'll need to know what metro to take, so I'm opening the Chrome to do a search. Well, that seems useful, and I'll simply drop the link here. I would also like to check off my tasks, so we'll add some check boxes here. And a roll of progress bar. I already have my travel insurance, so check. And that completes my holiday mind. I can easily access all the information I'll need in Paris. That's all for today and thank you all so much for watching. Let us know how you feel about these mind mapping tools. Feel free to leave your comments in the description section. Thanks for all your support and I want to share a great news that we just completed our 10,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you press that like button, hit subscribe if you are new to Next Gen Digital, and I will see you guys next Thursday. And until then, have a productive week.